What's up guys, it's the Beastly Gamer, and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to make a quick video uh, for you guys, for my, my subscribers, for the people who watch my videos, and people who ultimately add me as a friend uh, on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or even the Wii U, which is very seldom played. I get lots of friends requests uh, every, single, every single day, uh, because I guess now I'm becoming more known uh, in the YouTube or internet world. And I try to friend everybody, uh, you know, because I, I try to be a pretty nice guy when it comes to uh, playing with friends and chatting with friends. And sometimes people, every now and then I run into a really strange situation or a strange, a person that comes across as strange. So I wanted to uh, show you guys something. This guy, Legend Altair, and I'm not calling you out my, my friend, I'll just call you my friend. But I'm going to give you guys an example of how not to uh, become someone's friend. Now, I understand that, you know, you meet people on the Internet and, and you, you see them as a personality and someone other than a human being, but they're really just regular people. I'm a regular guy just like you guys, and I expect you guys to act like regular people. As you guys can see, this guy started off, do you want to join a party with me? Have you played any Call of Duty before? I don't play Call of Duty anymore. I like Destiny. That's a good game. Can you please talk to me? Can you please talk to me? Two minutes later... Hello. I wanted to add you so we can talk. Can you answer can you answer please? I need an answer to all the messages I sent to you, Beastly. So of course when a guy comes like that in such a short period of time, I'm like, what the hell is this dude's problem? That's a bad sign. Because I don't know this guy. So the first thing I ask is, how can I help you? You know, he's coming across like this is a fucking emergency that I talked to him. And he's <laughs> he said by answering my questions. So I'm like Yes, Destiny is a good game. I mean, I'm just being a regular person at this point. I don't know this guy. He hasn't broken the ice at all. He's kind of coming across in a really strange creeper type of way. All right? And I, I, I'm sorry if I offend you because that's just the way it is. Anyway, this guy goes on. Um, I know, but what about Call of Duty? What about Call of Duty? Um, I know I don't play it anymore, but... Uh, I want, I think he means, I want to know if you do. He said, we need a little chat. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. I'm playing games with people I know. I'm in parties. I'm playing The Last of Us. I'm playing Destiny. I'm playing Rocket League. So these messages are popping up randomly. And so I decide to, to get a voice message out. How do I leave a voice message? It's kind of, you know, to the point. It's not the most polite message. And this is what, this is what I said. What are you what are you trying to chat about? I don't do I know you? If I know you, let me know I know you, but from what I can tell I don't know you, so what do you think we need to have a little chat about? That's exactly what I said. And that I meant it just like that, because at this point I don't know this guy's motives. I don't know if he's a troll, I don't know anything, but I keep seeing his messages pop up on my PlayStation. So I continued on a few seconds later and left this one. If you want to learn about Call of Duty, there's a lot of sources. IGN, GameSpot, Kotaku. Use your computer, go online, and look at Call of Duty. It's not my job to tell you everything about a game. I'll talk to you later. So at that point, I kind of got hood with the dude. I don't know the guy, okay? And, and I wanted to see what the hell his problem was with this, com you know, this continuation of we need to talk, we need to talk, I want to talk to you. So he said, don't get angry, man. I just want to talk about stuff. So... Extremely sorry if I said something hurtful. He, of course, he didn't say anything hurtful. And at this point, I feel like an asshole because I feel like maybe I went too far with this guy. I may have said something to hurt his feelings. So this is what I say. You, you didn't say anything hurtful. I didn't know where you were coming from. If you want to talk about games and you have a mic, we can uh, party up and I'll chat with you about them. But I want to try. I'm not angry. I never get angry. I didn't know where you were coming from. So at this point, I don't know if this guy is a troll. He's coming across maybe like a, a fan, you know, like a stan maybe. Uh, and so I, I try to break the ice and let him down a little bit more easily. And I even continued on a minute later and left this one. I play Destiny more than I play Call of Duty because Advanced Warfare really, really got stale for me very, very fast. Destiny for me, as far as the multiplayer experience, is better right now. And I think you'll probably get more out of it. So I, I just wanted to have a quick little conversation to make the guy know that, hey, I'm not a dickhead. You came in a really weird way, and I just wanted to see what the hell you were talking about. So now the guy starts. 
Uh, he said, I know a lot about Call of Duty. I just wanted to talk to you. I watch Ali A for Call of Duty. Okay, thank you so much for voice messaging me. You you are nice. Kind, helpful, and amazing man. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for the compliments, guy. Uh, he said, by the way, you're the first person to voice message me. Uh, I would like to match you on Rocket League later. All right, so I'm continuing to play my game. Sure. All right, sure. Uh, do you have anyone that can help me with Trials of Osiris? Okay, my friends are not helping me anymore because apparently I am shit. Do you have anyone that can help me with Trials of Osiris? Please, I need someone. And it, I, I, I don't know the guy, so I really wasn't that amped to jump into a game with the guy, but the, the straw that broke the camel's back to let me know that this is not someone I want to play. Uh, and with, with, uh, on Destiny was this voice message. After this voice message, I immediately unfriended the guy because not only was his messages really weird, this is fucking weird. I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. Yes, that was a human voice. I'll play it for you again. I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. Alright, so if you guys ever watched Star Trek, this is definitely a Star Trek personality. I don't know if it's Data or from another fucking planet in Zeta Reticuli. This guy... He is like the Tranquil in Dragon Age. He has no t- tonal change. It's completely monotone, and that freaked the fuck out of me. My wife listens to this over and over again. She likes to listen to it. I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. And for people who don't know what the hell he said, he said, I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. Now, in these voice messages, you get 15 seconds to say what you want. He used four seconds and didn't even complete it. And when I heard this, I looked at Kate and I said, yeah, this is a guy. I'm going to have to block this dude because he's really fucking weird. And so I, I blocked the guy, all right? And I kind of felt bad about blocking him. You know, I, I only block a few trolls. And I don't think this guy is necessarily a troll. I think he needs probably uh, YouTuber etiquette <laughs> or PlayStation or Xbox etiquette on how you, you interact with someone when you first meet them. You don't come across in this weird fucking way. Uh, but... I don't, I don't really have anything against you guy. I mean, but that's just a really weird way to, to, to really introduce yourself to someone. And not only that, the repeated messages, and then... I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. That's fucking weird. You should have listened to that before you sent it. That little conversation piece alone let me know. Eh, probably not someone I want to have a real conversation with on the game. You might be the nicest guy in the world, but when a person has to get through... I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. And then your friends have already left you alone? If your friends have left you, I don't think I want to hang around. You guys be nice to YouTubers. You guys be nice to people on PlayStation Network. If you meet anybody fucking weird, it's really not an issue to block them. I, I feel really bad about this guy. I blocked this guy. He came to my YouTube channel and started asking me why did I block him and to please re-accept him. And I felt bad about it. I just wanted to make a video about it because it was really fucking strange to me. I'm happy you guys got a chance to hear it. And I'm the Beastly Gamer, so give a thumbs up. Show support of this crazy fucking video. And uh, I might do this. The next time I need uh, help with Trials of Osiris, I'll just send this to you. I need someone to help me with Trials of Osiris. I'll see you guys next time.